Hello everyone, Treeks here, and welcome back to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Online Tourneys. We've officially crossed the halfway point when it comes to that. 42 characters we still need to do, after already having done 44. So this project is also finally um, on its way, you might say. Even though I uh, only have one more world to do in Super Mario Maker 2's Super Treeks Originals world, I think I'll save that for the next extra episode. Today I'd like to dedicate to this again. The 23rd episode in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate's online tourneys, where I try to get a decent result with every single fighter in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in online tourneys. Does not look like there is an event right now. No, this is a spirit event. So, no online event. And therefore, we should be playing normal, regular, anything goes today. Because it's Sunday, so... <laughs> Let's return to... For fun tournaments. After doing for glory tournaments last time. Okay, fighters number 45 and 46 are going to be up today. We've done plenty. Let's make sure to go over everybody. <laughs> okay, good enough. That was my good luck charm. Now let's go see who we need to fight. Like I said, there's still 42 fights left. Okay, it seems to be Sheik. Remember how Sheik used to be a character that is um, part of Zelda's moveset? Ever since Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, they decided to actually split her up. And Sheik is now a separate character. And not one of my favorites, to be honest. <laughs> but anyway, she also needs to happen. Zelda in disguise, of course. We all know who Sheik is. I've already let's played Ocarina enough time, so... <laughs> Don't need to explain who we're dealing with. But it is fun how... Um, in the very first Smash game where... Sheik got introduced to Super Smash Bros. Melee. Sheik was actually not a separate fighter. She was actually part of Zelda, being able to transform. But now actually breaking them apart and creating separate fighters for them is also an interesting idea. Something they also did with Samus, of course. And Zero Suit Samus. But anyway, it looks like we're already getting started. Apparently it's pretty crowded today. Didn't last very long for a tournament to get started. <laughs> Let's go see if Sheik, like I said, not one of my best characters. Let's see if I'm still able to actually get the result against Haley, Aubrey and Henna. We're playing on Duck Hunt stage. Let's see if my Sheik is actually still present somewhere. It's been quite a while since I last played Sheik. I don't have to explain that I rarely pick Sheik whenever I play on my own. Here, take this. <laughs> no. It's not coming yet. <laughs> Game & Watch. I already played Game & Watch last time. <laughs> Pac-Man I also played already. Jigglypuff's um, character still have to play. One of the 41 characters that is still left. 41 now, because Sheik already got picked a moment ago, so... <laughs> the remaining characters is now 41. But first, let's finish the tournament with Sheik. There we go, first KO, <laughs> and here's the second one. <laughs> Make sure I stay alive myself. There's three. <laughs> okay, awesome, I killed everybody. And Aubrey almost killed herself again. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> yeah, let's just say I'm not a big fan of the down aerials that actually make you plummet down instantly. Some of the characters in this game have that, of course. Usually, I do end up killing myself quite a lot with that. You might have noticed in all of the parts that I've been playing this. I'm a big fan of using aerial moves. 
and the aerial down move that sometimes can be a little bit of a kamikaze move <laughs> that sometimes gets me okay uh, Hannah has the third dragoon part so Let's see if I can get that no not right we got freezy aha uh -huh. <laughs> There's a lot of melee weapons now. Let's get that scythe. Although there's nobody above 100%, so I won't be able to use it effectively. <laughs> okay, that was it apparently. Kind of lost track of time. But it was no surprise, this match wasn't really that big of a problem. Even though Sheik is not my best character, against these guys it was more than enough. Plus 3 against 0 points for second place. Pretty easy victory. Okay, and there's my result. Sheik can be scratched off the list definitively. Now it's just a matter of making sure we finish the tournament with a decent result. Winning would be awesome. And we're facing Final. Dad. <laughs> and he is Daddy Ganondorf. Something I can definitely appreciate. Ganondorf is my main fighter after all. Even though I do play as everybody, it's the whole reason why um, this side project became a thing in the first place. <laughs> Because I usually play with everybody. But if there's one character that I can consider my main, it is actually Ganondorf. So facing a Ganondorf is something I also really like. Because of me playing him myself so much, I think I know how to handle a Ganondorf. I rarely lose against Ganondorf. <laughs> now let's make sure I put my money where my mouth is. The final of the Zelda characters, Sheik versus Ganondorf. <laughs> What you're going to want to abuse when facing a Ganondorf is the fact that Ganondorf actually moves quite slowly. Sheik is a lot faster, so she should be able to keep in stun for the most part. Yeah, hold this. <laughs> okay, this trophy. Ooh, that's a good one. And bam! <laughs> Assist kill! Oh, there's another one. Oh? Oh no, 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 you're not going to do that! <laughs> hey, two can play at that game. <laughs> okay, unfortunately we're dealing with a sore loser, it seems. Usually you can actually solve that by um, just joining the party, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Something I've discovered that usually works against th those kind of guys whenever they um, give up, sort of say, when they start killing themselves. Just start killing yourself as well. <laughs> Apparently gave him some new fire because he's fighting seriously again. Luckily he is, otherwise it wouldn't be fun. There we are. Let's go. Gotcha! You can't face the power of the Sheikah! <laughs> oh, why isn't Sheikah thing in Breath of the Wild? She should have been. With all of the Sheikah business in that game, it would have been fun to finally see Sheikah return. Other than Ocarina of Time, we've only seen Sheikah in Hyrule Warriors, of course. But that is a spin off title. When it comes to actual mainstream Zelda, we have not seen Sheikah at all. Ooh, Master Ball. Tapu Koko. Thank you for reminding me how uh, bad Pokemon Moon was. <laughs> Go away, you're way too powerful. I'm not a big fan of him if it's not obvious. <laughs> okay, let's get the final piece of Daybreak. Let's finish this. He stunned so. <laughs> Bam! Now that is winning a Smash match. That was awesome. Unfortunately, there was a little bit of a period where he decided to give up, but um, that got remedied because of me joining the party. <laughs> but still, very, very big win. I'm actually surprised. The moment I saw Sheik got picked, I initially thought that this was going to be tough, but apparently 
my Sheik is a little bit better than I thought. Also got lucky in the final because of uh, facing a Ganondorf. It's probably one of the best characters for me to face. <laughs> and the game seems to know I'm let's playing Benjo Kazooie right now. Because why would you otherwise give me a Gruntilda spirit? <laughs> interesting. But what's more interesting is the second tournament. Sheik was fun. Surprised I won, but still, it was fun. <laughs> Time for the second one. We're at 10 minutes, so halfway through the video, we can say time for character number 46. Who are we going to get next? 41 characters remain. And the next one is going to be... Ah, it seems it's time for serious business. Kept you waiting, huh? <laughs> Time for Solid Snake. I'm waiting for you. Unlike Sheik, this is a character I like playing. <laughs> I'm not the best with him, going to be honest here, but I do really like playing him. For some reason, ever since him being introduced in Brawl, I thought his moveset is really fun to play around with. He's not a very traditional Smash character, and that is probably the reason why I like him so much. His moves are uh, non-traditional, if you know what I mean. I especially love the rocket move. I'm following you. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so much fun. Metal Gear Solid series. In fact, also a series I've always uh, wanted to try out at some point. Never grew up with the series, but I do think I would like it, so... I've always been keeping an eye out for Metal Gear Solid games. But for now, we're playing him in Smash. Let's go see what we're facing. First match seems to be all humans. Connor, Colton, and Ariana. One of them being a Sheik. <laughs> a character we just played ourselves. The other two, Link and Little Mac. All characters I've already played. Magicant. That is a pretty fine stage. As you can see, my snake is also up to speed. Quite yet. I'll get there. <laughs> Ow. Hey, I can play around with bombs too. <laughs> Cutting edge. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh god. At least that was my kill. <laughs> Please don't pay attention to the top left of the stage. It's going to be filled with earthbound spoiler alerts. <laughs> Lock onto you guys. Let the bombardment begin. One, two. <laughs> two kills. Awesome. Also looking fine so far. Just like with the previous first round match, I've got all three of the kills. Okay, we left three to Ganon teams. There's not going to be too much spoiler alerts. It's the biggest downside of um, Magic Ant, I feel. <laughs> Although, who does not know Earthbound by this point? It's a pretty weird game, but still. Still awesome to play. <laughs> Go away, stupid flying man care about you. Okay, this is a heavy spoiler alert. <laughs> and I died in the meantime. <laughs> and this picture is all the way from the end of Earthbound. They do have a lot of guts showing that off. <laughs> okay, besides that, I'm talking about the stage way more than actually about the fight. <laughs> Still doing fine. Did get the first three KOs in after all, so a lot of things need to happen before I get into trouble. See if I can get one more KO in. Go away, stupid flying man. <laughs> I don't care about you. I never even bothered to pick you up in Earthbound because you barely get any uh, stage time there. <laughs> they definitely appear more in Earthbound beginnings. But still, like I said, it did not feel like I was losing, and indeed, I didn't. I won. Solid Snake! 
also has his result. Let's go see how well we did. Plus a 3 and minus 1 for the rest. Okay. Pretty clear. So far, a good day today. Three matches and all three of them won. Only one more to go. And we're facing Ryan Rules. Who's playing as Bowser. Awesome. Battle of the heavy boys. Because Snake is also a pretty heavy fighter, of course. Snake versus Bowser. Treeks versus Ryan Rules. Rudo Valley. Two, one, That's a stage I can agree go. with. Here, have a grenade. <laughs> or a missile. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Oh yeah, of course. That's usually what you see whenever facing Bowser fighters. They usually try to go for ground pound moves a lot. Or grabby moves. <laughs> also a character I need to play myself, of course. Bowser. The more and more characters that I've done, the more and more fights we're going to meet where I'm facing characters that I've already played myself. But there are, of course, still plenty left that I have not played yet. 40 at this point. And Bowser is indeed one of them. Pong. And Warp Star. Bye. Okay, not sure why you stood around there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, you should be careful where you ground bouncer. <laughs> No, stage going to get burned. Yeah, I uh, should not be standing around here too much. <laughs> okay, let's go fight over here then. Okay, but then that didn't work. Let's return to our fists then. Okay, here's another goon part. Last time I wasn't able to actually collect it, so... Ow! Yeah, that was my own damn fault. <laughs> Give me that. No, don't smash. <laughs> There's another one. He does not have the third one, so... He still needs to appear somewhere. Go away, that is my final smash. Thank you. He's got luck onto you. And there's no escape. 30 more seconds. This is in the bag. I still haven't seen the third cocoon part yet. Oh! It <laughs> would have been an awesome kill if you managed to do that. Kamikaze move into the valley. Okay, let's get one more KO in. Oh, here's the dragoon part. <laughs> Unfortunately, too late. But it does not matter. The match itself went pretty fine. Snake has won. I hope I've been able to show off why I like playing with him so much. <laughs> because of his weird moveset, Snake is just a party to play with. And that is pretty obvious. Let's move on. Uh, that was it for today. Second tournament of the day, just like the first one, ended in victory. Snake, you are awesome. So awesome, in fact, that I might start playing Metal Gear Solid games for, for the first time. <laughs> Has to happen at some point. Perhaps this could give me some inspiration. This tournament can be described as another success. And therefore, the entire episode. Two more characters done. Sheik and Snake, both of them starting with an S. <laughs> but that's pretty much the only uh, thing they have in common. Two completely different kinds of characters, but both of them ended in a tournament victory. So, let's close off. Um, let's go see if I've got all of the spirits by this point. There's a spirit event now, so... No, nothing new. 1513 out of 1513. It's been a while since I actually um, added new spirits, but um, I can ignore the event. I've got all of them already. Let's go close off now. Another successful run. Next time in the next extra video spot. Super Treeks Originals World is going to get cleared. Hopefully. And after that. That project will be fully completed. And I can fully focus on finishing this project. 
There are 40 more characters to go, and therefore 20 more episodes to look forward to when it comes to Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. After Super Treaks Originals World, I will have more time for this. See you folks then. Hope you enjoyed, and I will say, Treaks out. Later, folks.